Remember me? Cam for Cam and Jay today? That's Jay? Stay tuned for our next vlog! Hi, Jaden. Alright, y'all. So, you guys haven't seen us in a while. We've been on a little bit of a break, but we're back. Back and popping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, today, we are going back to school shopping for Jay Bear. Ooh, girl, I gotta fix that one. Jay Bear needs to go back to school shopping, but this is going to be the single cheapest back to school haul ever, okay? Jaden is going to get everything he needs for back to school on a single mama's budget. You know what I'm trying to say? So, we're going to take you through the day. We're going to start and get Jay a haircut because you know he's got to look fresh and fly when he goes back to school. And then we are gonna do the back to school shopping for Jay and we'll end it all off with a little haul on what we got, single mama style. Y'all stay tuned, okay? All right. Hey y'all, so I'm here with Jaden. He got a jacket for fall in Walmart. Show them the jacket, Jay. And he just doesn't wanna take it off even though it's the middle of summer, it doesn't make any sense. But we are going now to grab a bite to eat from Subway and I'm with my mom who's come with me. Girls always talk. Aya, ha cha cha, okay, hot stuff over there. So yeah, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and we'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's Jaden's first day of school and I just had to get him a quick minute. There he is looking all handsome. I don't know if you guys can see us because of the glare but we'll see you later. Okay, so it's Jaden's first day of school. Jaden, how are you feeling? I feel good. There's like so much people here. Yeah, there is. Everyone's first day. Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling yes. sad? How are you feeling? Not that you feel sad, but I think so sad. Like, like excited and like not I see. Well, you remember what mom told you about your first day, right? New days, new opportunities. Right there. Positive Thanks, attitude. Five. Thank you. You know I love you? Yeah. Awesome. All right. I hope, I wish you the best day ever. Okay. I'm going to see you after school. Okay. I love you both. I love you So I just dropped Jaden off at school and I don't know, but a well of emotions came over me. Like a well. I was so like excited for Jaden to go back to school. You guys have no idea. Um, he's had a very tough go at that school for whatever the reasons may be. And he's been there for a while now. And he's just had a tough go. It has not been what you would want for your kid. You know, he's had encounters with racism he's in, had encounters with bullying and um i was really unsure as to whether or not he was going to go back to this school but like i want to teach him perseverance and i want to teach him to be strong you know so of course i throughout the time like just side note like i've been speaking to the principal and i've been trying to do what i can in order to make his life better but he has one more year at this school so dropping him off today was very difficult for me because the school years have been so stressful for us luckily last year they switched principals at the school and the new principal is such a supportive woman like I don't know if you guys have ever had this, but you can just tell when somebody is working for you and working with you in order to get to a common goal. You can tell when you have help and when you have support, you know what I mean? And even though they may not be able to do all of the things that you want them to do, you feel as if you're supported and you can see progress and you can see help. So I'm very grateful for her. Um everything is kind of just coming over me 
um, Jaden for him to get to this point in his life. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> like, because, of course, like, with the, all of the bullying, like, you start to think, like, you know, is it because I'm single? He doesn't have a dad around to show him, like, you know, how to be tough or how to handle things like a boy should handle them or whatever. But, like, what I came to, like, this morning when I got up, I literally prayed. And I was like, I was like, Lord, please guide us, help us. Please make sure that we are okay. And my neighbor just came out, so he probably thinks I'm a hot mess, but help us get through what we need to get through, Lord. Help us to make the right decisions. Help us to have the right temperaments to get what we need and what we want. And so I literally, literally just pray to, to God to help us. And I'm hoping that he's going to do that. But the other thing that came over me is just that, like, Jaden is 10 years old. And for the last 10 years, I have raised him. I have raised him. The person that he is today is a product of how I raised him. And I'm, I'm not perfect, but I'm extremely proud of that. And I'm proud of him. And I'm proud of me. And everything that we have been through in this time. So, I'm just overwhelmed with emotion. I'm extremely grateful for the life that I've been able to live. Regardless of the mistakes that I've made. And the, like, missteps that I've had. I'm grateful for my family that has supported me. And I just hope that I can continue to raise Jaden in a way that he's going to be like a good kid, a productive member of society, you know, someone that's happy and not sad and someone that can properly deal with their emotions and just a balanced person, you know, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. But, like, first day of school, like, there's been a few times in my life where I've had these, like, what I'm calling, like, breakdowns. Like, I just, I'm crying. Like, it's really serious. Like, I usually wake up every morning, like, regardless of what's going on, I stay optimistic. Like, I stay positive, even when I'm not sure of what could happen. But, like, every couple of years, I just get to this moment where I just feel overwhelmed with everything that's gone on. And I'm just at that moment now, like I literally had to speed walk off of the school's property because like I didn't want anyone to see me like bawling like a child, like, and I know it's okay to feel this way sometimes, so I'm not ashamed of it. It's just like, this is where I am. This is where I am. So I just want to be better and do better every day and show Jaden that you can be better and you can do better no matter what's up no matter what's going on you know there's never a reason to stop striving and reaching for something more if that's what you want so that's where I am I hope he has a good day I hope he has a good year I hope he finds that strength within him to be who he needs to be and who he wants to be and to be proud of whoever that is and just keep going just keep swimming but yeah, on that note, I'm going to suck it all up, as us moms need to do sometimes, and get my day going. So, a couple deep breaths, a couple deep breaths, and keep it moving. I'm going to get on with my day. So, I am going to show you guys Jaden's back-to-school haul, and um, show you everything that he got for back-to-school once I pick it up. But other than that, I will see you guys very soon. Hey guys, so as promised, I told you I'll show I, I would show you guys, excuse me, what I got Jaden for back to school. So everything I did was at Walmart. Well, most of everything. And everything was like under twelve or thirteen dollars. Um, with the majority of things only five dollars. So this is what I got. 
First, we started with these pants. Last year, what I found was he wore primarily jeans to school, and I just wanted him to have something that was like more comfortable. As you can see, these are $10. They come with this cute little tie, and I have a couple of matching shirts that will go with it as well. So this was the first pair of sweatpants that we got. This was a possibility too, this shirt. And uh, basically it's just a lightweight uh, shirt that matches with those pants that he could put over. Um, also $5 from Walmart. I love the way the material feels really soft. I'm a little worried about it though, because I mean like he's getting to be a big boy, starting to like sweat a little more now. And I don't know if the material will be like necessarily breathable. But I'm hoping that it will be, but I guess we'll only see. It was only $5, so you really can't go wrong. Um, and then we got this Own the Field shirt. Jaden picked it out. Super cute. It's short sleeve. It matches with the pants that I was just talking about. And as you can see, it was only 4 bucks. So bomb, bomb, bomb. Love it. So this was another one we got. It is You Are Mistaken. The world does revolve around me, which is such a Jaden shirt. He also picked this one out. And as you can see, four bucks at Walmart. It's a long sleeve shirt, which is amazing. As you guys can see, so we'll take him right into the fall months here in Canada. So this is another one of those shirts. Um, I really liked them, thought they were stretchy and just good for an active young child. As you can see, five bucks, just a different color. Um, another pair of uh, nice little sweatpants, a little bit of different material, also $5, which is just so affordable for a single mom. Like this is exactly what I need. It matches perfectly with that shirt. And as you can see, the color changes slightly, which is really cute. So I would put that with that other shirt or we could mix and match with the other stuff that he already has. Um, he also picked out these jeans. They are like, a, what are they now? They're a straight yeah, straight cut. Yep, straight cut. And these ones were $11.97, these jeans. And I like it because they have this adjustable waist. So as he gets a little bit bigger, I can just pull this button out and adjust it and it fits him uh, just fine for so, so long. Um, and the material is really good as well. Just it has a, a slight bit of give and it just looks really cute on him. And I loved it because he picked it out. This one, defend your turf, okay? Best defend your turf. Um, long sleeve shirt, only four bucks. Bomb, bomb, bomb. And this will do him nicely with those pants you guys just saw or his jeans or whatever he wants to wear it with. Um, this one says, swing, batter, batter, swing. Super cute, nice and crisp white, love it. Jaden picked it out. Also $4 and long sleeve to take him into the winter months, which is beautiful. I love these long sleeve shirts with the cute designs on them. Super cheap. Usually in the winter months or like when it's getting cooler, but not quite like um, really, really cold. We will just put like a t-shirt or some and a, a wife beater or something like that under this to keep him warm. And he still looks super cute, which is lovely. This one he picked up. He just had to have a poop emoji shirt. Like he literally died in the store for this. Like if this was the only thing I got him for back to school, he would have been fine. He would have been like, don't worry, mom. It's all good. So he got a poop emoji shirt. I feel like I paid $7 for this shirt, which is completely like to me, like it just makes no sense. But the only reason why it made any sense is because it was for Jay and it was the only thing really that he requested um, that he like really like, you know, really, really wanted. And like Jaden's pretty good. He if I say he can't have something, he'll be no problem. Like he won't have a problem with parting ways with it. But this one he really wanted. So I didn't give him a problem. So the next thing here is this sweater it's like a zip up sweater it matches with the yellow that were in those uh first track pants and the first couple of shirts we got which was nice and it's also black inside or black as, um as a color so it matches with a lot of things i thought it was really cute easy to wear this i believe i paid 12 dollars for bada bing bada boom yep 12 12.97 so not too bad i don't know if there would been a better place to find sweaters cheaper sweaters but I thought 12 wasn't terrible 
and oh you guys look at me i'm talking a hot mess i thought i showed you guys these already but this these are another five dollar pair of shirt and pants they are uh gray and yellow like a um fluorescent i want to say is that the right word for it i hope um but yeah this goes with this sweater basically if he wanted to wear it or he can mix, mix and match with his other stuff and only five dollars so i thought it was super awesome I'm going to show you guys the jacket that we got for Jay, as well as he picked out a $5 hat. It was really cool. So I'm going to show you guys those in the next clip. So hang on. Okay, guys. So this is the hat that I got for Jaden. Um, he picked it out. It says Hawk brand. It's just a cute little hat from Walmart. He didn't even take this out yet, but it's only five bucks. So it was really super cute. And the other thing we, we, um, the other thing I got him uh, is this um fall jacket i really love it it's super cute it's red let me show y'all this is what the inside looks like it's super light and soft from george i love it and it's just so cute and i think it's something great that he can wear when it gets a little cooler but not cold enough for like winter jacket styles so i just i'm in love with that i think it's super cute um so that's it for clothes that I got for him. I'm going to show you guys what else I got him as far as like pencils and stuff like that. Okay, guys, so I did something different this year, too. Usually I go out, I buy, um, you know, glue sticks, sharpeners, scissors, all these kinds of things. Jaden loses them in the first like two weeks and then he's down to like two pencils and one marker. Um, this time what I did is I actually got these from the dollar store. I got these. From, where's the dollar store? Okay. All right. Well, anyways, I picked these up from the dollar store and they're Crayola, which is awesome. These are pencil crayons, 24. He's got washable markers and a whole bunch of pencils. Everything else that he needs from the school year came in like multi packs that I bought last year. So like sharpeners, scissors, we have a bunch of glue sticks that were never open. So when his teacher gives me the class list of what they'll actually need, I'll compile it um, from the stuff from last year. Um, but each of these, I'm so sad. I thought these had the uh, little emblem on them, but these were not more than like $2, I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm just going to say two because I really don't see the package and I got them a little while ago, but um, maybe this one could have been $4 at maximum, but I just thought they were really cute and they had a bunch in the pack. I don't think they were that much though. I got them at Dollarama. So yeah, that's basically that. So guys, these are the shoes I got for Jay. Um, they were only $24. I thought they were super, super cute. No laces, so super easy for him if he wants. This is one pair of shoes, and I got one more, which I'll show you guys right now. Okay, guys, and this is the other pair that Jaden picked out. These were 29 and he already wore them, as you can see. So these were the other pair that I got him. So now I'm going to for real tell you guys how much I paid for all this. Okay, guys, so uh, you guys just saw everything I got Jay for back to school. It turns out that uh, with everything included, I spent approximately $186 um, for everything for him for back to school, which is super awesome. Um, over the summer, he got a new backpack, which was brand new. We're just going to use that. And like I said, we're going to use the other materials that we had and had not used from previous year. So that is Jaden's back to school haul. I hope you guys liked it. I had to do it super, super low key and cheap, um, but good. Like the stuff was not expensive, but they were good stuff that I feel like he's going to use for the whole year through. So I'm super excited about that. I hope if you guys have kids, they had the best first day of school ever. And I wish them the happiest, healthiest, most fun years well, year of school is what I'm trying to say with good grades. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one.